Okay, this is my UV LED printer. A um, couple of mods, what I've done to it is put supports underneath, which I can adjust using these thing, uh, bolts using a little adapter, what I've made, which fits onto there. And then I can actually just height, change the height of the bed when it's going it up and down. Uh, it's all black because, of, of course, it's the UV ink. I need to uh, make sure that it's uh, not curing the ink uh, in daylight. Um, so I'll just take off the cover now and uh, show you inside. This is inside um, the case. Um, I'll just slide the, the cartridge to the, the full side. Okay, so what I've done is mounted uh, LED curing light display onto the side of the, the, the printer itself. Um, when the printer is running it, it, it finishes about about there so you, you don't have a lot of room to actually make it fit. Um, the hole what I've actually cut out is um, it's across here and then uh, just took out there's a bracket which uh, I've took out which fit across there and just hit the wire so everything has to fit in within the very very small gap okay what I've done is put a control unit on the side so that's the on button for this control unit and then I've got a brightness of the the UV so I can adjust it depending on what I'm doing just changing the brightness of the actual uh, LEDs and um, I'll take off the other side to show you where I've mounted everything the side taking off there's the, uh, the spindle what runs the uh, underneath the printer um, if you're going to do that and turn the motor around um, as soon as you've done that you need to also change the little sensor to go the other way as well else you'll have problems um, we had loads of problems trying to make it work and then realised that we had to spin the little sensor around so it was reading off the, the cog the, the right way so it, it, even though there's only one light it kind of knows which way it's spinning. Okay so that's uh, back of there is my power unit for the, well, the drive unit for the LEDs and then what I've done is just wired it all up onto the top so I've got main on and off button then then the UV light and then the sensor and then the rest of the control panel there uh, main new, uh, power is connected to a four way like uh, gang uh, plug socket which powers everything another mod I've done is put two switches on the side of the panel uh, this basically turns off the PE sensor so I can move the bed backwards and forwards and then that one I've put on a another well nine volt power so I can actually move the bed backwards and forwards remotely. Um, what how that works is it's connected to the, the drive unit in in there, but it's actually uh, connected the other a another nine volt power supply reversed. But what you have to make sure is that you have a switch what disconnects the power completely from there both terminals and connects a the new power source going in the reverse direction <coughs> so basically when you turn the, the switch it uses the same motor but actually just makes it turn the other way so what the the bottom switch does is like I said it turns off the power to the PE sensor which is mounted back there if you can just see that um, what there is underneath the control panel there is another little yellow uh, like little switch which was connected to this which was for the CD opening tray which dis uh, disables the, the PE sensor. So the main problem I had was with the PE sensor same as a lot of other people and what I've done is made this little case mounted it at 45 degrees and then put a uh, uh, acrylic bar that runs all the way down the side what the sensor does is the little switch, if you can see that, runs up the side of this slope which then senses that it's a paper and then on the other side of this, the 
acrylic there's another slope which then lets it gently roll down this way I can move the tray backwards and forwards without snapping off the the PE sensor um, some other people put like a little spring on it to so that you can put the tray backwards um, this works quite well um, I do have a slight problem of lining this up if I need to print the white underneath um, first and then trying to set the registration to line up the colours but um, at the minute it, it works works fine. So um, I'm coming back to the LED UV curing sensor. Um, I've mounted a fan on the top of there onto a heat sink that's just like a, a PC fan. Um, it's powered by that cable which then just runs all the way down into, into a 12 volt power supply. Um, people are wondering how hot this thing gets so uh, if I just turn it on, put it up to the normal speed. Okay, you shouldn't really look at the light when you're doing this, but uh, okay, so I've got a, a gun. I mean, it's only been on for a couple of seconds, but it's only at 16 degrees for the, fat, uh, the CPU. Oh, no, let me. Uh, it's only at 17. Hard to see what I'm doing. Yeah, so it's only at 17 degrees, so it's 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 not even warm. So the fan seems to be cooling it quite well. Um, this thing just tells you what the temperature of things are, so it's quite good for uh, finding out the temperature without actually uh, mounting on a, a something else. So there you go. So that's it's 19. It's no, it's nowhere near uh, many stupid temperatures so I'll just turn that back off. This is the, the bed um, basically I have to have the case on um, where I have a line going across here at the exact height what I need to actually make it do it obviously I've took the case off so uh, you can't see that but it's a flat bed like I said I've got these bolts where I can adjust the height and what is underneath is uh, these long bolts basically that extends up and down if I need to make it higher and then below that I've got these blocks where if I'm doing anything um, taller I can take those out and then basically have, have the extra room which, which I need. Okay, so coming back to this sensor, you just have to, when, when I get it to the right position, um, at the minute I've just marked on, oops, a bit too far, marked on a couple of marks on the, the side where I need it to do. What I have to do then is re-turn on the PE sensor and you'll hear the motor turn a couple of times. Okay so the height of material is, is very critical um, what I'll do is just turn the printer off so I can see what I'm doing but you have to get it very close to the actual print material to actually uh, make it print onto it um, if, because the printing straight onto uh, hard materials uh, unlike your garments and stuff, uh, you, you do have to get quite close to actually get the the quality and the you know the, the sharpness what you need. So you have to be very very careful, obviously, when you're lining this up, and that's why I have this like guard on just to stop it from going under. If it, if it hits this guard, I know it's going to hit the the print head, but I've I've already done it once where I've put it under and the printers hit the material, and I have to quickly press this stop button. So it also prints in white, um, can't really see that, um, but I've got uh, the uh, old uh, continuous ink system in there which I've just got, left the white ones in there, I've just took them all out for now um, just so that I can use it as for the colour. Um, these are the, the just the blank cartridges obviously you put them in like uh, YMCK um, just obviously you have to use the, the same colours as, as, as what's on there in, in each bay else it moans but you, then you just fill them up in the uh, white magenta cyan and, and black in there like I said white's in there which again um, should be connected to the C uh, continuous ink system um, but obviously all the pipes all melted and everything um, what I will do is spray all those black um, like I sprayed the, the end ones uh, just to stop the uh, any light get into it but basically I've got a case for it all and also a thing what comes over the front just to cover all the front and also one goes over the back and normally I have my monitor sat on, on the top of the case 
um, just so that it's easier to use. Um, I'm going to make a hole at the end just so that I can uh, reset the ink cartridges when need be. Or it's, um, and also um, another important thing is that the white ink um, separates, so you have to shake it or agitate it before you use it. So um, again, it's 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 good idea to have access to the ink cartridges so that you can take them out, give them a shake, and then put them back in before you print the white.